Hi everyone, welcome. Now, today I would like to share a personal story. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm from England and I live up north. So the other day, a friend of mine asked me why. <laughs> she said, why do you live up north instead of down south? That's where I used to live, down in Portsmouth. And the answer is very simple. It all comes down to money. So house prices in my neck of the woods are around 100, 120,000. But down south in Portsmouth, they're around 400,000. So quite an easy decision to make, I think. Now, this video is not about property prices. It's about different ways of saying that something is expensive. And you probably already know a few idioms like it costs an arm and a leg, or you might also know it costs a fortune. But these don't express that I cannot afford to buy it. For example, my, my internet, oh, my internet costs a fortune, but I still pay it every month because I need internet. So we need to add a strengthener, a modifier to indicate that it is excessive. So what do we need to add? Hmm. It's too expensive. So that's a really important adverb that's going to change that idea of expensive, but I can pay it and too expensive. I cannot, I don't have the money. Now, this is a funny word because it actually makes something negative. Even if you start with a positive adjective, it's going to transform it into a negative because the definition of this is more than is needed or wanted or more than is suitable or enough. Now, of course, there are other ways that we can use the word too, but this is the use that we're going to be focusing on today. So let's have a look at some examples. So if I say that it was sunny when I was driving over to my friends yesterday, you might have a picture in your mind of me enjoying a nice drive with the windows down, enjoying the sunshine, listening to some music. But if I say it was too sunny when I was driving over to my friends yesterday, ah, now it is negative. So maybe I had difficulty seeing the road because the sun's rays were too bright or strong. There was a strong glare, which made driving difficult. So I've taken that idea of sunny and I have made it negative by saying too sunny. Example number two, I always say that my phone was too cheap. I thought I got a really good deal. It was around $100 for a new smartphone, but it randomly turns off. Sometimes it doesn't ring. Uh, the call quality is very poor. I have a lot of issues trying to connect to Wi-Fi when I'm out and about. So really, it wasn't a good deal. It was too cheap. Now, I absolutely love summer. I love it when the weather is hot. Yes, you're probably wondering why I live in England. <laughs> I actually grew up in the Middle East. I spent my childhood growing up in Dubai in the UAE and the summers there were not hot. They were too hot. And then, I moved to Canada in high school and the winters were too cold. So you've got the idea there that those extreme temperatures were really uncomfortable for me. I did not enjoy them. And for the last example, I've got a question for you. What do you think? Are you happy if an English class is too easy? I mean, 
If it's easy, you might feel really proud of yourself. You might feel confident and motivated to keep studying. But if it's too easy, you'll probably feel like it was a waste of your time. So we've taken that positive easy and we've made it negative. Oh, it was too easy. That was a waste of my time. Now, of course, there are lots of synonyms for expensive. So you could say that, oh, that's too pricey for me, or it's too dear for me, or it's too costly for me. Now, don't forget to pay attention to prepositions. So in all of those cases, I've said for me. I mean, you might have the money, it might not be too dear for you, but for me, it's too dear. It's too costly. It's too pricey. It's too expensive. I don't have enough money. So lots of different synonyms we can use. But today I would like to talk about five common phrases that you're more likely to hear English speakers using naturally. And the first one is, my budget can't stretch to that. Or my budget can't stretch that far. So let's think of some collocations that we use with budget. We talk about a budget as being loose, if it's quite flexible and there's some wiggle room. Or the opposite is tight. Oh, my budget's really tight these days. Think about it like an elastic band. Elastic band. So you can stretch an elastic band and you can stretch your budget. Unfortunately, I cannot stretch my budget to reach that price. So it is too expensive for me. I don't have enough money. Hmm. Another way to say this is it exceeds my budget. But that is rather formal. If I'm out shopping with my friends and I see a gorgeous new pair of boots, it would seem really out of place for me to use that phrase. And in other videos, I have talked about register and how important it is to choose vocabulary that suits the situation. And this is especially important in language exams as they are testing to see whether you can determine what vocabulary is suitable for different situations. So we're talking about the level of formality. So if I'm out shopping with my friends and I see a gorgeous pair of boots that are really expensive, they are too expensive, I would not say it exceeds my budget. I would say, oh, the boots are lovely, but they are over my budget. Exactly the same meaning, but just slightly less formal. So it will fit the situation better. They're over my budget. Hmm. Now, number three is beyond my means. Now, I've had students mistake beyond for a preposition in this phrase, and they try to use synonyms and they say things like, it's after my means or further than my means. No, you cannot do that. It is a fixed expression. So if I do have enough money and I can afford to buy it, then it is within my means. But if I don't have enough money and I cannot afford to buy it, then it is beyond. It's beyond my means. Many people these days live luxurious lifestyles with designer clothes and multiple cars, trips abroad, the latest gadgets, but they're actually living beyond their means because everything is bought on credit and they're up to their eyeballs in debt. Okay, now we are getting to the ones that I personally use all the time. And number four is it's out of my price range. So don't forget that you can change the subject. If you're talking about multiple things, you would say they, they are out of my price range. 
but if it is just one item, it, it is out of my price range. And then we've got things that are a little bit flexible, like a pair of jeans. So there is an expensive pair of jeans I would like to buy, but it is out of my price range. However, it is more common to simply refer to jeans as jeans. So they, they are out of my price range. I actually saw a really nice pair of glasses the other day, but they're out of my price range too. Now, don't forget that this whole expression is a synonym for too expensive. So it's an adjective describing that noun or noun phrase. We could focus on the future and say, once I've got my promotion and corresponding pay rise, they won't be out of my price range. But for the moment, they are. And the number one phrase that I use all the time when something is too expensive is, oh, it's too rich for my blood. Oh, it's too rich for my blood. So when my friend asked me why I don't live down south, I said, I'd love to, but it's too rich for my blood. Meaning, it's too expensive, it's beyond my budget, I cannot afford to live there. So there you have it. We have looked at synonyms for expensive, pricey, dear, costly. We've talked about that modifier too and how it creates that negative situation. And we have looked at five real English expressions to say, I can't afford something because it's too expensive. So leave me a comment and let me know which is your favorite. My budget can't stretch to that. That's over my budget. That's beyond my means. That's out of my price range or that's too rich for my blood. As always, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a like, share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my future vocabulary videos. Take care, guys. Bye, everyone.